starting out by taking a mauve color and blending that throughout my crease. Next, I'm taking a light gray eyeshadow and blending that throughout my crease. In the 1920s, women typically wore dark, sultry, smoky eyes. So to create that perfect smoky eye, you want to start out using lighter eyeshadows and slowly build up to the darker eyeshadows. I'm taking a dark gray eyeshadow on a short shader brush and focusing that on the outer V of my eye and slowly blending it up throughout my crease. Down yonder in Baltimore, down to a brand new tune. Using that same short shader brush, I'm taking a black eyeshadow and again focusing that on the outer part of my eye and blending it throughout my crease. Black eyeshadow tends to get a little messy, but in the 1920s they weren't too precise with their eyeshadow, so you can get a little sloppy with this. When they start playing and they start sway like an old piece of When you start stepping about, get up and show, hey I'm blending out that black eyeshadow so there aren't any harsh lines. The key to a nice smoky eye is to build up the color slowly instead of slapping it all on at once. So I'm just going back in with black eyeshadow and building it up to the intensity that I want it to be. I'm going in with a shimmery pewter eyeshadow and putting that on my eyelids. And again, using the same technique we used with the black eyeshadow, I am building it up to the intensity that I want it to be at. smoked out lower lash line, I am first taking that first mauve color that we used and blending that throughout my lower lash line. Then I'm taking a dark gray eyeshadow and blending that out. And then lastly, I am taking a black eyeshadow to give it that really smoky effect. I'm using a light shimmery eyeshadow to highlight the inner corner of my eye. In the 1920s, black coal liners were very popular, so I'm using a black eyeliner to line my upper lash line and also my waterline. To create that sultry effect, I'm taking that same black eyeliner and running that along my lower lash line, and then taking a pencil brush to blend that out. Now I'm quickly filling in my eyebrows. In the 1920s, women typically had very thin, penciled in eyebrows. During this time, women were known for their flawless skin and their rosy cheeks, and they typically applied their blush right on the apples of their cheeks in circles. Bold lips were definitely the trend in the roaring 20s. You would either see women rocking a bright red lip or a plum lip. They also really emphasized their cupid's bow. So first I'm going in with a red lip liner, lining my lips and filling them in. Again, emphasizing my cupid's bow. And then I'm going in with a plum lip liner to go over that to create the perfect shade. And then I am using a plum lipstick to finish off the look.